In this final video, we're going to cover ways that you can drive some traffic to your blog and ways that you can monetize your blog to make some extra cash. If you have a website or a blog and you're not getting the hits that you feel your content deserves, then you'll need to take advantage of ways to drive traffic to your website or blog in order to be successful. And there are many methods available on the internet that will help your blog to generate more traffic and thereby make it more successful. This is especially true for those who are using affiliate marketing to generate income from their blogs. And the first way is to put a signature at the bottom of a forum posting or an email. You know, if you belong to any public forum, you'll be allowed a signature that is free for you to post. And this signature will be seen any time you post a topic or reply to an existing topic. And you can put a link that will access your blog or web page directly at any time. Now, since public forums tend to generate a lot of traffic, it only makes sense to take advantage of this handy tool to generate traffic to your site. You can also add a small note telling the people on your forum what your link is to and what they will find there in order to get interested parties to your website or blog. Most email accounts also allow you a signature at the end of your message. Instead of putting the standard information such as your name and contact information, you can add your blog or website links as well and this will get more people to see your links on a daily basis. Since we all send out many emails in a week and many who have a blog or website are sending out more than the average person, you'll get your links viewed by all the people in your contact list. And this is a step many do not consider when trying to generate traffic to their websites or blogs. You'll want to write original content articles that you can submit to directories that speak on the topic of your blog or the items offered on your website. You can use the information box to include a link to your website and blog and that will direct traffic directly to you. You will want to make sure that your article uses common keywords and phrases that will be searched by your clientele that are interested in your blog topic or your website. When potential customers or clientele do a web-related search, your article will appear. They can then simply click the link that you've provided to give them access to your web page. You want to keep your articles current, original and interesting so that your potential new customers will be interested in reading what you're writing. And you can use Google AdWords. If you don't have a Google account, you'll want to set one up first and foremost. Now, AdWords isn't a free service, but it's not one of the more expensive methods of generating traffic to your website either. And you'll pay a small fee to create and set up your account, and this is typically in the 5 to $10 range, so it's affordable to most that are getting started with their blog or website, even if they've not generated a lot of income yet. You'll then decide what payment type you would like to incorporate. And the two means of payments are pay per click and site target. Now, pay per click is exactly what it implies. You pay for each click that is made on your link or banner that directs people to your site. This is also generally a small amount and it's not going to break you even if you're not generating a lot of income at first. The other method is site target and with this plan you'll be charged every time your website generates a thousand views. Now keep in mind though that you'll be charged for a thousand views whether or not your site is actually clicked on. If you're a blog owner and you'd like to increase your income you may not be aware of the need for back-end profits and building a blog list to help build up your sales. If you're just interested in starting a blog then this information is going to benefit you as well. When you're selling items or software online, you typically are not going to make much money or generate much income from your first few sales as this is typically going to fund the startup costs associated with starting your website or blog. It's the sales after that or the back-end sales that will generate more profit for your blog or website. Because the cost of marketing will and can exceed the initial payments made to you, you'll not start to make much profit on your first few orders. Most people will not purchase high price items from you until they're sure that you are reputable and that you deliver your goods in a timely manner and that these goods are of high quality and as you describe them. You'll be getting small dollar sales at first that will not cover your marketing costs. 
and this is the most important time for a startup blog or website as you want to make sure that you keep your clientele happy and coming back to your blog or website to purchase your more high-end products or services and once you've established yourself as a trustworthy seller people will be more inclined to purchase higher end products from you as they'll not be concerned about losing any money using your blog or website trust is imperative in any online or any brick and mortar type company and this is even more so when you're running a blog marketing company once your first few sales have taken place the rest of your profit will be considered back end and they'll generate the most profit from your blog or website now it can be frustrating getting over the initial hump that will take you from breaking even to getting to the point where your main profit is from back end sales uh, but you must keep at it and not get too discouraged as it, it will happen over time once you gain the trust of your clientele once your business reaches a sort of um, a critical mass uh, you'll be able to start generating income from the back end once you've gained your clientele or customers trust you can offer them an upgrade to their existing account that will offer them certain perks that they would not normally receive as a regular customer and this can be in the way of a membership that will cost them an annual charge but will afford them discounts on current products or you can offer high-end products that are not offered to the general public once you begin selling you'll want to build an email list of your current customers and make sure that you keep them up to date on your current items for sale or on any promotions that you may be running and you can begin to build an email list from friends and family if you belong to a public forum you can add these contacts to your email list as they may be interested in your products and services and it may not be prudent for you to advertise directly on your forum as some forums don't allow free advertising once you begin to get a clientele base directly from your blog or website you'll want to keep contact with these customers so that you'll be able to remain in their minds and they will be more likely to return to your site and purchase more products from you when you're sending out promotional emails with free items don't send out too many of these types in succession you should instead stagger these emails with sales emails so that your customers on your email list they don't always expect to get free items all the time as this is going to cut down your back-end sales to a great degree so by offering sale items with your promotions you will be more likely to generate sales along with your free or sale items once you have the basics of setting up your blog, of finding a niche market and learning to get article and blog post ideas, then you'll be ready to monetize your site and start some income flowing. By adding some affiliate products and services that are relevant to your niche and putting up some contextual advertising like Google AdSense or Yahoo Publisher, you'll give your visitors choices between what they want to buy and use to solve the problem it's just a matter of finding the right products to match your website some good affiliate programs to start with include clickbank and this is the easiest and most popular digital products affiliate program out there and you can find it at clickbank.com then there's pay.com um, which you can find at pay.com.com you have to write it all out and this is another digital product affiliate site that's growing in popularity and it's uh, integrated with your PayPal account then you've got amazon.com and you can find books and audios relevant to almost any niche that you'd care to set up and Amazon is one of the largest affiliate programs on the web with a wide assortment of products to choose from and then there's Commission Junction which you can hear at cj.com and it's another biggie and it has a ton of affiliate programs for some of the major brands now these are just four but there are many many more out there that offer a wide variety of products and services that will help you make money from your website in addition to any products or services that you're offering personally once you have one website and sales system set up it's very easy to duplicate the same thing in other markets so you might start out selling custom crafted sewing creations or custom cutlery however anything that you're passionate about is something that you can build a site and a thriving growing business around 
Curiosity and creativity are your best allies in the pursuit of new markets to approach, so don't be afraid to experiment. This video series has just scratched the surface of what you can do on the internet. And I wish you the very best success.